Uh, hello everyone. I want to introduce you to this new project that I've been working on. I've never done anything like this before, so I guess we'll see how it turns out. Uh, long story short, I need to play through Talos Principle 2 again all the way from beginning to end to get all the achievements. Uh, and to make it less tedious, I decided I would just kind of break all the puzzles as much as I could, make it go faster, um, skip what I could. Uh, and I decided to turn it into a video series where I just kind of show off, you know, breaking the game as much as I possibly can, make it more entertaining. Um, I'll show off Easter eggs and all that as well. Uh, so I'll go over some ground rules real quick just to kind of set the expectations. Uh, there will be spoilers in this, and I will be skipping a lot of stuff. I'll be skipping most of the dialogue, most of the cutscenes. So if you're here to, you know, actually watch somebody play the game, this might not be the series for you. Um, but if you just kind of watch me want to break, if you want to watch me break the game, uh, go ahead and watch. All right, so we're just going to start here. Let's delete this profile. So there's already a couple of things I found in the tutorial. Uh, one of them I did not find on my own, but the other ones I did. So let's load in here, wait for it. The fastest I've done this tutorial is f about 42 seconds. So we'll skip that. So this exploit I did not find on my own. You are risen from the you just go and take this very first cube. In my garden. Here now just jump my up here on this wall. And know that I am your friend. Take me out of bounds. Fun fact, if you run all the way out of bounds here, uh, Elohim actually has dialogue for it. Which completely took me by surprise when I was running around. You cannot go this way, child. Remember. <laughs> This world is His voice is so distracting when I'm trying to commentate. We'll do it legit. So you do have to do the first three puzzles before we can break out using the method that I discovered. This I mean, I don't know if I discovered it, but I found it on my own at least. You will stay here only for a little while. Soon. Actually, one of the only two Easter eggs I found in the game before the latest update is right if I can make it. It's right here. It's a little broken terminal. Um, you can't actually get out of bounds from here. Not really. Uh, well, it's a cool little Easter egg there. The other one uh, I'll show off when we get to New Alexandria. Let's just solve this real quick. Yeah, so speaking of Easter eggs, um, they just put an update out, like, literally two days ago that fixed some exploits, uh, but added a ton of Easter eggs. And I was a little wary at first. I uh, actually went back to the old version because I tested one of the exploits I knew of in the 1.1, and it was fixed. So that kind of scared me. Uh, but then I did some more research, and it turns out that was, like, the only thing that was fixed. Um, so I will be sticking with 1.1. And I'll be showing off not all of the Easter eggs, but some of the more interesting well ones done, that I liked. My child. So now that we have enough of these, go on to the next area. Uh, and this is the last puzzle we will step in. So this is the method that I found to uh, break out of the game, or break out of this area here. Not nearly as easy as the uh, first one. So you just gotta kind of put this right here, and you can't quite get around the corner. So you got to jump back up in here. So you have to kind of put the cube in such a way that it slides around the corner. Nope, that was a bad one. I seem to have a curse with this game where I can do these sorts of things first try, no problem, no practice, and then after that I just cannot get them anymore. There we go. That was easy. And since I don't have the cube with me, there is a cube over here that you can get that's just kind of waiting out of bounds until you hit a switch and then it gets launched into the puzzle. This is like my favorite thing to do in video games, is just kind of figure out how to break out of them. Um, Half-Life 2 and Halo are two really good games for that. Um, a lot of the levels in each, you can figure out like how to get out of bounds. That's really fun, sequence breaking and all that. 
So I'm gonna just take this cube over here. Jump on that little guy's head. And then you just bring this over to the you final uh, for as long gate as here. Wish. Third but person makes my child, jumping that the a lot easier. You, and this place is only a dream. There we go. Just like that. Tutorial Step done. Into the light, child. So I will be giving specific responses to certain social media posts and uh, NPC dialogue just to ensure that I can have access to all the achievements at the end of the game. Uh, I probably will point out when I do that, but they're fairly few and far between. Um, most dialogue I will probably be skipping. I'm not sure if I'm going to skip all dialogue or not yet. Can't skip the sun anyway. Just pleased to meet you. Of course. Short version. All right. Thanks. You're welcome. So I think it'd be kind of fun oh, to uh, play 1K as just kind of this unfeeling robot with absolutely no emotions. I don't know why they lock this room off at the beginning of the game. You can get into it later, but I just don't see the point of locking it off right now. Maybe they just want you to go right to the story. Um, but yeah, I just kind of want to, like I said, play 1K as this unfeeling robot with no emotions whatsoever. Just because I think it kind of fits the gameplay of just skipping everything and going right to the end as fast as you can. So I did uh, skip ahead a little bit to the first few areas to kind of map out a rough order of how I want to solve puzzles and Let's how to exploit them the best to make them interesting. So I'm not doing this kind of... I mean, obviously it's not blind because I've played this before, but even this second playthrough isn't exactly blind. I have done a little bit of planning ahead. So we will be going back to the city to show off a couple of things. But we have to go up here first. So our first uh, forced option here, we have to say yes, that we want to meet Doge's friends. Do you want to... No feelings. No feelings. I'm curious. Yep. Speaking of which, the first thing we say, I don't think it was a sign, and then we don't respond at all. Right. I would like to preface this meeting Ooh. by saying I told That's you something. Weird bug. Sooner or later. That noise. Uh, keep listening. 1K has nothing to right. say. Doesn't really matter I what agree. we say here. Before you set out so hastily. Okay, there we go. Fix the uh, audio. The first. It is your home. Yeah, we'll be exploring all. the city first. That's a good idea. Have a look around. See what you make of the place. Skip. So fun fact, this is uh, the guy or a representation of the guy that did the um, soundtrack for this game. I really love the music in this game, by the way. Uh, I actually asked my friend how to pronounce his name because it um, is not something I would normally be able to pronounce on my own, and I'm probably going to butcher it anyway, but it's something like Damian Marauunats, or Damian Marauunats, something like that. I'm sure I'm still butchering it, but I tried my best. I have no idea how long these uh, videos are going to end up being. Probably, I don't know, 20 to 40 minutes a piece, and I have no idea how many videos it's going to take to do the whole game. I guess we'll just uh, see how the first few go. So first little exploit here I found is uh, in one of the three puzzles in the museum here. Yeah, so these boxes are going to be kind of a center point of this whole series. Um, they're by far the most interesting and useful objects that you can get in or out of a puzzle. Jammers are probably a second, because you can some puzzles you can just jam the very first thing and just skip right to the end. 
Uh, but I think boxes are more interesting. You can use them to get out of bounds, you can use them as platforms, they're just so versatile. So the first thing we'll be doing is connecting those. Oh, didn't mean to do that. Sometimes I wonder if Crow Team didn't know that these were so exploitable and they just decided not to fix them for fun, because like, this is so obviously exploitable. Like, they should... I'm sure they knew you could do that and just decided not to fix it. Ah, I didn't mean to do that. And, uh, props to them. I like developers that, you know, trust you to not break your own game. Oh. Like, if you want to do something like this, you should be empowered to do that. As long as, you know, there aren't any ways to... Oh. Why do I keep doing this? As long as it's not possible to soft lock yourself, which there are a couple of spots like that, but they did a pretty good job of ensuring that, you know, that never happens. Just get right there, grab this, okay. And we can get a box set into New Jerusalem. We can actually use this to get uh, out of bounds in the other two puzzles, as small as the areas are. So this one you can just put right here. Uh, ooh. Did they fix this? That's interesting. You used to be able to jump up on this platform, or this uh, wall here. Yeah, they definitely fixed that. Interesting. So there's one exploit that was fixed in 1.1. It's another thing you can do in this puzzle. I spent like two hours in this puzzle trying to find something interesting and get out of bounds. Uh, but I just gave up because the jumps are really tedious. We can do that. We can take this. And uh, put it on there. I love this like mock up of a puzzle. So you jump up on here, and then you kind of jump up into that corner. Ooh, they fixed that too. They're fixing all my fun. So you used to be able to jump up and get up on that wall, and then from there you could kind of run along the walls through the rest of the puzzle. And I was trying to get all the way over here to see if I could, like, jump up and get up there, um, and I just kept falling in it. It was like an hour of work, and I just gave up. There's a couple of things they've fixed already, actually. Thankfully, I've when the when I did the scouting in the areas up ahead, I actually didn't find anything that they fixed, so they uh, were pretty light on the bug fixing, which I am perfectly okay with because it makes this series more interesting. Yeah, so they fixed this one too. That's fascinating. Used to be able to jump up right on this little corner here. In this box, when you put it down here, it used to immediately tilt to the right, and now it doesn't. See, it kind of wants to. And you kind of jump up on the raised edge. So they have fixed that. So the other Easter egg that I know about in this uh, game that existed before 1.1 is our friend Sirius Sam there, of course. There's another one over there, too. You can barely see him. Um, I was going to go out of bounds and stand face to face with him, but I guess that's not happening. Let's go get our cube. Okay, so I uh, loaded up the previous version just to show off all the different uh, things that they had fixed in 1.1. So this part is still the same. Um, let's get down here. Oh yeah, and if you didn't know, um, back here, you don't even need to do an exploit to do this. You can just run around the back of the puzzle. There's a little beach ball in the water. So yeah, this is how this is supposed to work. You place this here, and it kind of tilts onto its side, and that edge being raised gives you just enough height to get up over that wall. Just like that. And we will need the cube, so let's take it with us. 
There we go. And you come over here. Place that there. You jump on top of this. Well, this is easier in third person. You gotta jump through that gap there. Very small gap. There we go. And you can't even walk all the way through it because of the collision on that gate there. I need to jump up on top of here. Don't make the mistake that I did the first time and just try to take the cube with you because you will not make it over that wall. There we go. And just like that, we're on the other side. Now we can run over here and say hello to Sam. Hello, Sam. Man, he is tall. Why are they two different sizes? That's weird. Anyway, let's reset and go to the other puzzle. Okay, so right over here, like before, you just place it in the corner there, and you can just jump up and over it. Actually, I'm going to step into this puzzle to make resetting easier. There we go. And then from here, you can just jump over. The hitboxes on these uh, props here is crazy. Like, you can't get anywhere near them. I actually can't go all the way around because the hitbox is so big that you get stuck in this corner here. And I tried bringing a cube here, you can't jump over this, so... And they're not angled, so... Yeah, I don't even know if there's anything over there that would be worth looking at anyway. And let me reset and I'll show off that wall jump in this puzzle. Okay, so, like before, you just stand here. This one is also easier in third person. If you jump too far, you land in that little bit over there, and you have to reset the puzzle, and yep, just like that. Alright, let's try this again. It helps if you kind of push to the right into the wall as you get up over it so that you stop your forward momentum. Yeah, I like that. But don't be a coward. There we go. And the furthest that I had bothered getting was if you run over here, jump onto this wall, up on top, and then kinda, if you jump straight, you usually overshoot it, and once you get down on the bottom, you gotta go back and do it again. But if you kinda go to the right, you can, oh, I didn't even jump far enough that time. There we go. Ooh, don't fall in. Oh, a little bit too far. The trick is canceling your forward momentum without overdoing it and just going back to the ground. Honestly, I don't really even think there's anything interesting to look at. Because once you get up there, you can jump here, and you can get to here, and then there isn't really anything after that. I think all of this is walled off, so you can't jump on top of it. I was hoping there'd be a way to get up on top of there, but I don't really think there is. And I don't think there's a way to smuggle the cube into this puzzle either. Because you can't get it over this. Well, anyway, yeah, that was everything they had fixed, so back to the episode. Now there is something that hopefully is still possible. I hope they didn't fix this one. Just take this all the way out. Way over here. Alright, so just jump up here. Yes. Okay. So far so good. We'll just be very careful to get our box back. Follow this all the way up here. Gonna hit an invisible wall, and we just need to jump up on top of the wall. Yep, right there. 
Yes, you can still do it. Nice. So this right here is the rest of New Jerusalem. I believe this right here is the tram line that you actually take in from the dam. And it goes all the way down in there. Um, most of this stuff in here does not have collision meshes. Unless it's a uh, model that exists in the regular Nutrism, like these benches. But any of the buildings, if I run over here, even the water isn't real water. Yeah, like all this stuff is fake. So you can't climb up on here, unfortunately. And the ground um, below these buildings actually like dips down. You should be able to see it when I get like over in here. And sometimes you can fall into these little like pits in the ground that you can't get back out of. I thought there was one over here. Anyway, yeah, you can just kind of explore outside the city. I haven't done too much exploration out here. I think once you get far enough away, the uh, ground collision stops working and you just fall right through. Yeah, so here's what I was talking about with the ground. Like, I don't know if there's a way out of... Oop. Yep, there's the end of the ground. I don't think there's actually a kill plane in this level, because they never expected you to, you know, fall. Um, yeah, there's a museum. So you just gotta kinda have to... I could have just uh, held X, but whatever. So I think that was really all I had to show off in the first area, so we're in a New Jerusalem, so I guess we are ready to head off to the island. There is a couple of things I want to show in that first area of the island before we go to the first east section. Okay, let's go back. Oh yeah, there is one more thing I need to do for the ending setup. I need to talk to Damien and Moriana and sign their petition. Oh, no, there is another thing I need to do. It's back in the museum. It was some kind of a... I need to go and talk to Rand. I have no idea. Well, don't be too hard on One kid doesn't have any ideas of his own. All he cares about is running fast, jumping on boxes, and breaking puzzles. So you need to go sign this petition, and then head back up to the tower and head off. Anybody I don't need to talk to. I don't want to talk to you. <laughs> so, what's the? Yep. Wow. People call me one K. Yep. Let's go. Unfortunately, this cutscene is not skippable. Here we go. Hold on to your hats. I love you, Coot. He's we probably really my favorite need to character. Update those language libraries. Thank you for coming along, everyone. We have a chance to make a real difference here. It's not just about what we find on that island. It's about who we want to be as a people, as a civilization. To remind ourselves that we used to be wanderers, explorers. We used to yearn. I find it interesting that this city has been being built for hundreds of years. 
Let's see. Almost a thousand years, and they still haven't been able to finish the roof. All right, this is going to be a long journey, so I would like to ask you to switch to sleep mode to conserve power until we arrive at the island. Nighty night. I really like the sunsets in this area. They look path, a path that looks really nice. Sacrifices. But that, my child, is how the future is built. Wakey, wakey, robot people. Say goodbye to Elohim and say hello to the mysterious island. Hello. Report, please. We are going to break you wide open. Ocean, so fuel consumption turned out a bit. Yeah. That is a bloody mega structure. If I had a spine, it'd be shivering. You know, it's funny because this thing is fairly small in comparison to New Jerusalem, which they built, so. It's interesting that they're so surprised at the size of it. It really is. And. I want a jetpack in this game. Everybody, I'm sure you're all just as excited as I am, but let's at least have some semblance of order. This underground structure seems to be part of some kind of transport system. No power, though. Second time I came to this place, I uh, went down into that area that that video is being recorded at because I wanted to see if it really was a real-time video, like if I would be able to see myself on it. It turns out if you go down there, it skips that part and it shows a video of the lab here instead, so that's really boring. We will not be reading any of this optional text on any of these terminals. That's all we need to do there. Thanks, Wonkai. Let's see what we've got here. The fall so there are a the couple of things in this area that I wanted to show way. off. Um, one of them is really tedious, so I will probably just fast Hold forward on. myself here unless I go. happen to get lucky okay. and get it in the first you know, few attempts. I'll hack together a solution for the transport system. It's right over here. Unless they've fixed this too, but I doubt it. Oh, maybe they have. Oh man, they fixed everything. Yep, they totally fixed that. You used to be able to jump up here, up to there, up around, up on top, get up in there, and then you could get totally out of bounds in this whole area. Um, I went along this whole cliff face all the way from north to south, and that was the only place I could find that worked. Maybe I'll make like a little addendum at the end of this video where I um, load it up in an older version and show off the few things here that have been fixed by the update. Yeah, you didn't used to be able to... Or you didn't used to slide off like that. You used to be able to stand there. Hmm. I'm actually finding out a lot of these things uh, in real time, because I didn't test these out in the new update before I recorded. I wonder if the other one still works. So the other one is over here. It's not nearly as cool. But it is kind of mildly interesting. So it was over here. Hm, not that. I'm just exploring this, because I never really explored this before. I don't think there's anything you can do. I think it's just... Yeah. Okay, so it was, uh... Here. Have they fixed this? Nope. Okay, you can still get up there. That's good. And if you go all the way over here... Sorry if my keyboard is loud, by the way. I don't really... Like I said, this is my first time doing anything like this, so I don't really have, like, a... YouTuber microphone set up. So hopefully it's not too annoying. Uh, where's that? Where did it go? Okay, it's down here. So you can jump down here and 
It's just kind of a cool little area to be at. With a little waterfall below you. This whole area kind of really gives me off like a Halo Infinite vibe. Or even uh, like the last level in Halo 2. What is it, like Two Betrayals? Um, no, that was from the first... I don't remember what it's called. But anyway, uh, where you have to fly into the kind of temple to face off against Tartarus at the very end of the game. It really looks like this. Um, you can kind of fall down in here as well. Maybe. If you find the right one. It's one of these that's just small enough to let 1k slip through. If I can do it. 1k, fall. they would have fixed this. So oh, almost. Almost down. Well, anyway, you can kind of shimmy yourself down through here and just kind of stand in the flowing water. It doesn't do anything, but it's just kind of cool. Nice little secluded area. I feel like this is the kind of place uh, Annie Austin would show off in a video about this game. Oh, there we go. I got it. I'm very broken. Game really does not like me being in here. It keeps trying to push me up back through it. Okay, so let's reset back to the main area. Let's see. We already did that. Okay, no, we don't. Alright, let us head into the transport system and head off to the first area. Skip this cutscene. Am I in sleep mode, or did that thing just materialize out of thin air? Melville, I want an analysis of that particle cloud. On it. Anyone got a butterfly in it? I'm connecting the transport system to our interface. Hold on. Alright, off to the Grasslands Ring, East One, our first area. Where is the capsule taking 1K? To that enclosed area in the Eastern Lowlands. I put all the information we have on the map screen. Check out your interface. Thanks. Sorry. My bad. We'll catch up with you soon, 1K. All right, so I think I'm going to end the first episode here. Um, we're up to almost 40 minutes at this point. Um, so if you made it all the way to the end of the video, thank you. You're awesome. Uh, like I said, this is the first time doing something like this. So if you have comments, suggestions, critiques, uh, let me know in the comments. I guess I'm going to catch you guys in episode two, where we will break the Grasslands Ring. All right, peace. They did a really good job of sealing off this uh, area so you can't get out, but they didn't catch everything. We're gonna fall down here. Right into puzzle number five, I think it is. Yes, it is.